All right, welcome back. Uh, in this video, we're gonna hit uh, page seven of Tradition of Excellence for Clarinet. And in this page, we're not gonna learn any new notes, but we're gonna learn a new rhythm, a new way of counting. And so in this, uh, in this uh, page, we learn a half note. So the whole note kind of looked like that egg. This looks similar, it's a little smaller, but it has a stem from it. The stem's either gonna go up to the, on the right side of it or down on the left side of it. And that counts for two beats. It's called a half a note. <clears throat> <coughs> and that counts for two beats. It's called a half note because it's half of a whole note. So two beats. Now below that, you'll see in this little blue box on the right hand, a half rest. And it just looks like a little box sitting up on top of the bar. And if you look back on page six, you notice the whole rest was a box hanging low. So one of the ways you can think about that is a whole rest sits hanging from the bar because it's so heavy, uh, as all four counts. But a half rest only has two counts, so it's light and it sits up on top of the bar. At least that works for me, it's a good way to remember it. Um, so we're gonna combine half and whole notes. And there's one other thing on this page that is the breath mark. So that thing that looks like an apostrophe, that's telling you that's a good place to take a breath. So you should take a breath whenever you see one of those, but you can't uh, lose the count. So that's the trick. If I'm playing that whole note, like if we look at number seven, I play that whole note for four counts, but I cheat it a little bit and sneak a breath in there. And you wanna do the breath quickly and get a lot of air in, especially if there's another note coming up. So it would be like one, two, three, four, one, two. But the key and the trick is to not slow down or lose any time. Um, so let's do that. Let's play number seven, deep breaths. And this one doesn't even use our half notes yet, but uh, we will use those in the next uh, number eight coming up here. Here we go, number seven. One, two, ready, play. Rest, two, three, four. Rest, two, three, four. And we're done. Great, so let's move to number eight, rhythm time. And this one, you notice it's not writing any specific notes. There's not all the bars and spaces, or lines and spaces, uh, because we're gonna clap this one. This is our good practice on our half notes. So let's play, uh, clap through this one. One, two, ready, play. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And I kind of put my hands out there when it's a rest just to signify that I'm not playing anything there. So number nine, take a look. If you notice, it's the exact same rhythms as number eight. And the reason that is, it's great to clap through rhythm sometimes if it seems difficult before playing it, just so that you know you're doing that right. Then you're not having to think of notes and rhythms. You just think of the rhythms, you get that perfect, and then you play it with the notes. Uh, makes it a little uh, little uh, easier once you, if you go through it in that, in that order. So here we go, number nine, half note rock. One, two, ready, play. Rest, rest. Rest, 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 rest. All right, hopefully that went well. That one has a bunch of new things introduced though. So play through it a few times. Make sure that you really get it perfect. And if you need to slow down and do it slower, definitely do that. There's a, I'd rather practice something slowly and get it perfect than practice fast, make a bunch of mistakes and learn those mistakes. And then it's hard to get those bad habits undone. All right, so number 10, sight reading challenge, stepping. So sight reading is when you play a piece of music that you've never played before, the first time you look at it, and you have to read it by sight. Now, it has a little note there that says, always carefully inspect music before you sight read it. That's a great idea. So I can kind of look through and go, okay, it's, uh, those notes and those rests, and there's a breath mark there, and I just need to know what I need to remember to do. Okay, now I'm ready to sight read it. Here we go. One. Two, ready, play. 
Ref, ref. Ref, ref. All right, so if it went really well the first time, great. If you need to play it a few more times and get it down, do that. And again, same thing, if you need to write anything on the page, uh, use a pencil, but definitely do that. That can be super helpful. So number 11, El Camino Mariachi uh, is a duet. So it's something that uh, a duet is when two players play together, it's a, or it's a piece for two players to play together. And there'll be some harmony in there. There'll be some interesting, uh, pretty stuff. Uh, so what'll be fun for this is I'm gonna play through this on one part and you can play along with the other part and then we'll switch. So we'll start, I'm gonna play line A, start to finish, but you play line B at the same time and then I'll play line B and you play line A and we'll see if we can keep it together and make it line up and make some harmonies here. Here we go. Letter A, or, or letter A for me, letter B for you. One, two, ready, play. Ref, ref. Ref, ref. All right, how'd it go? Hopefully well. If not, uh, back it up and play along with this until you can stay right with me on the rhythms and listen and see if you can get it as in tune and pretty sounding as possible. Uh, clarinet's a very flexible instrument. So depending on where I have my embouchure, it can be a little more in or out of tune. See if you can get it so that it sounds very uh, pleasantly in tune with uh, what I'm playing. All right, so now I'm gonna play letter B, you play letter A. One, two, ready, play. Rush, rush. All right, so yeah, duets can be really fun if you do play along with that and it goes really well and you happen to record it. Post a link in the comments below. It'd be really fun to see uh, how some of these duets turn out. Okay, let's move on to number 12, cu Cuckoo. Um, and uh, this one, it says test because it's kind of using everything we've learned so far. So let's play through it and see how it goes. One, two, Ready? Play. Ref, ref. All right, so if you get that one really good, you will, uh, you will have learned a lot and we're actually starting to play songs. It's great. Uh, moving on, number 13, that one uh, goes along with the recording uh, that you'll find the links to uh, on the Tradition of Excellence. I believe it's on their website or you'll get a CD with it. So we'll skip that one because there's already a recording to go with that one. But hey, that means we have gotten through four pages of Tradition of Excellence. That is the end of page seven. And in our next video, we'll see what's on page eight. Thanks very much. We'll see you then. Thank <laughs> you.